What's going on guys, JJ here, and welcome to the very first episode of my Kingdom Come Deliverance Mod Showcasing. So today we're going to be showing the first actual mod, our big mod out there for Kingdom Come Deliverance. The game just came out today at the time of this recording. I'll be uploading this probably on the 14th. Now before I get really into this, I just want to say, keep in mind that this game is brand spanking new, meaning that there's going to be a ton of updates in the upcoming weeks and months. Uh, so a lot of mods that are going to be coming out now might not actually work in a few weeks from now although there will definitely be alternatives uh, when those updates and patches come out you'll probably see new versions come out of these mods so the mod i have here for you guys today is unlimited saving so for those of you who don't know kingdom come deliverance saving mechanics are kind of mixed opinion right now a lot of people actually like this and a lot of people really don't including some reviewers so in order to save your game in Kingdom Come Deliverance, you have your autosave uh, and your manual save. And autosaves are done uh, through checkpoints and cutscenes, uh, as well as sleeping in bed. Manual saves, however, you can only do if you have Save Your Schnapps on you, which is an alcoholic beverage that you can buy from traders and taverns, or as well as make it yourself. The problem with this is if you don't have any Schnapps on you, you can't manual save. And this is an issue, I think, because in a game like this that, as much as I love it, is really buggy right now and prone to crashes, you want to be able to save your game as much as you can uh, because this game might crash on you. Who knows? And I understand what the developers were going for here with the, the fact that you can only save your game through sleeping or by drinking these things. They don't want you to be able to just quit whenever you want because that's not how life works and this is supposed to be sort of going for that realistic tone and vibe. But enough of me rambling, let me show you guys how the mod actually works and then at the end I will show you how to install this mod. Alright guys, so here we are in the game and as you can see, um, I have one savior schnapps on me. I'm actually going to drop this item. It's right there on the floor. So I should not be able to save anymore. However, now as you see, I, I'm able to save the game with ease. No problems whatsoever. Let me delete those real quick. And that is ultimate saving with uh, the no schnapps enabled, meaning you don't need schnapps to save your game. I think a lot of people are going to want this. Now there is an alternative version, which I will also show you now. Okay, so here we are back in the game. And as you can see, I have one save your schnapps on me. So let's do our saving. Save the game. Okay. All right, now we're a bit drunk, whatever. Uh, and as you can see, it's still there. Look, let's save it again. Save it again. Save it again. I just saved three times. Still there. So you need one. You need at least one save your schnapps. Uh, <coughs> so you need at least one save your schnapps in your inventory in order to do this. But with this version of ultimate saving. You, as long as you have one save your schnapps in your inventory, you have unlimited saving. Uh, really, you can do either one. If you want to do the no schnapps version, that's more of a... Oh, see that little bug there? If you want to do the no schnapps version, that's more of the traditional open world game. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how to install the mod. Uh, so first and foremost, you want to go to a website called Nexus Mods. Anyone who's modded a Bethesda game before should be, uh, you know, pretty similar with this... Uh, should be, you know, pretty familiar with this website. Uh, it's perfectly safe. This is literally the go-to place for mods. Here you have unlimited saving. You're going to want to go to the files. Uh, download whichever one you want. I already have them downloaded. Now, I created a folder for my Kingdom Come Deliverance mods because I, I have... I'm pretty confident that this game is going to take off with the modding community. I put my games in that folder. <coughs> Pick which one you want. Uh, so, for instance, let's just go with the no schnapps extract here. All right, and there is our mod file. Now, how do you install this? Uh, pretty easy. We need to find your Kingdom Come Deliverance directory, and if you don't know where that is, it's where all your Steam games are installed, but if you can't figure out where that is, uh, go here on your library, right-click the game, Properties, Local Files, Browse, and then there you have it. This is your directory. You're going to want to go... <coughs> you're going to want to go into the Data folder here, uh, and then simply drag and drop into Data... I already have it there as you can see replace the file and destination you won't have to worry about that don't worry and that's all there is to it now if you want to go back to the original kingdom come deliverance saving method which is what i'm going to do because this is my first playthrough and i don't really like playing with mods too much on my first playthrough for a game uh, all you have to do is simply delete it and the game goes back to normal all right guys so there you have it that is the first episode of kingdom come deliverance mods uh, episode one it is complete now keep in mind that the game is going to be updating in the next couple weeks and months to follow. So a lot of these really early mods 
uh, probably will end up not working when the new updates come out. But then again, there'll probably be workarounds, new versions of these mods and whatnot coming out uh, that you'll be able to install. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this video and what you think about Kingdom Come Deliverance. Are you a fan of it? Are you a fan of the game? Yes or no? I personally have been really, really enjoying the game, although it is very buggy and unoptimized. Uh, I am definitely really, really into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, tap the bell icon to be notified every time I drop a new video. Peace.